hello everyone so today in this session we will just see uh, what is the back end of this apache airflow in a little bit more detail so when i say this is the airflow environment and we created it in google cloud composer so if i click this environment you can see we can have some monitoring details what are the dags how many dags we ran successfully and if I go to the environment configuration you can see the details of uh, this Apache Airflow environment created in Google Cloud Composer and if I go to view cluster details this is based on the Google Kubernetes engine GKE so when I say a cluster is created for Apache Airflow it will be a Kubernetes engine cluster so now if I want to see the details inside this Kubernetes cluster uh, so you can see that it is just a cluster created in Kubernetes this is the cluster name it has three nodes right so rest of the properties are defaults if I go to nodes it is nothing but a compute instances so this one is having 1 GB memory requested 1 GB one almost 2 GB so these are three nodes that are created to verify if these are compute instances or not you can just go to compute so this must be created here also and meanwhile I will copy the name of this node of this cluster and try to see if it is present in my compute instances so so that we can verify that yes this is a kubernetes cluster having three compute instances yeah you can see this is the cluster so similarly there are uh, this is the instance in the cluster so similarly there are three instances created because we requested in airflow that we will need a three node cluster so it created kubernetes cluster so this is how uh, it creates a backend for apache airflow if you create a environment and rest of the details you can see here it is running with the service account default compute service account so this was the environment that we created in asia east two cluster it has logs using stack driver it has apache airflow link uh, which is here appspot.com link where you can see your workflows and this this there will be a dag location where you will be uh, putting your dags in this bucket so that these dags can be utilized uh, so this is how uh, we usually create environment airflow environment in Google Cloud Composer then uh, use it to create uh, workflows use it to create data pipelines and uh, run the workloads uh, from on-premises to cloud or Google Cloud to Google Cloud or any other cloud platform to Google Cloud and vice versa so uh, this was the last video of this Apache Airflow series you can go to Airflow documentation if you want to uh, explore the things in Apache Airflow so this is the documentation page and uh, keep updated keep uh, watching the new uh, things coming into apache airflow and try to implement it in your uh, daily routine that you follow in your data engineering or to explore the new technologies in uh, apache airflow so thank you for uh, bearing with me and uh, thank you for watching a complete series uh, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe on this Let's Data channel and stay tuned for the upcoming new technologies in data world. So thank you for watching Let's Data.